All right, well, it's Sunday, and on our current schedule, that means it's heyday. Right, Molly? <laughs> you got a good bite. We just brought some hay in. We had a nice warm weekend. It was dry up until about an hour ago, of course. Everybody hung out, got a little wet. Our hay bale wasn't quite ready, so it's really tall. We got some hay on top and some hay on bottom. Here comes Lulu. So this week's hay is brought to us by our good friend Jenny Ferguson, all the way from the UK. She watches us on YouTube, and she's been a huge supporter of the farm. She also bought, um, oops, I almost slipped, <laughs> two bags of senior grain, which is very much needed. Uh, our boy Teddy has gained over 100 pounds, and he had to uh, have his senior grain allowance increase because his weight so heavy <laughs> he needed he needed actually more senior grain which is uh it's a blessing and a curse right um so we're going through about a bag a week let's walk over there finally got this paddock cleaned off before the rain we're down to our normal clay hey teddy i was coming over to talk to you you're not gonna grunt at me are you hi i know you get a little nervous in there don't you yeah, you want to say thank you to Jenny Ferguson for buying your grain? Okay. That's okay, buddy. Yeah, so um, Teddy is now on four quarts twice a day because he's so big. Look at the size of him. I think if you had met him, the pictures were a little deceiving because he came to us very woolly. He must have been on really rich grass. Um, if you had seen him when he first came in, um, he was skeletal. <laughs> it was terrible. I'm not trying to talk bad about you, Teddy Bear. I just want to be honest. And uh, Senior Grain has helped him come a long way. He does eat hay, but his teeth are so worn out because he's so old that uh, he can't actually chew it enough to process it. His feet got a little muddy today, but um, some of his cracks finally broke out right about there which is uh it's actually good news that farrier gave him a pretty good update on his feet and um so that's going well and mr ivan is over here hey ivan what are you doing buddy ivan got a little lean on his uh top line oh you're looking at the bug light so we're trying this bug zapper that we got on amazon it has been amazing <laughs> it's the most satisfying thing to hear that damn thing snap um, when it, a bug gets it and uh, it's really it's doing it's doing really well we have it plugged in 24 7 and uh, Ivan doesn't really love hearing it snap but uh, it's very satisfying to me because that means that's one less mosquito or fly or moth that's around anyway so Ivan is on two quarts twice a day so Teddy is eating twice as much and he is bigger he's a mammoth um, Ivan is a standard very large standard he's only a couple inches shy of that I think maybe two inches shy of mammoth but his top line started showing um, some loss of muscle hi buddy I know I'm sorry I'm looking at your butt terrible right oh it's so embarrassing so embarrassing um, so top line is right let's see where's my finger right there's top line so that's along the top of his spine and there's a lot of muscle there and when you stop working an animal that can go away and remember that uh, teddy and ivan were work animals draft um and driving uh donkeys it's what we assume based on the fact that they were hitched together uh in the kill pen but uh, when you stop working your body lets a lot of that muscle go especially when you're eating low calorie hay which is what we feed um, to keep them um, without having a sugar issue and he lost that muscle in the top line he got a little hippy right there and my fingers are filthy because i've been working outside and his rear end got a little lean so um we will be doing a teeth floating again uh you can see hey buddy yep looking at your butt no big deal you can see just a little bony there um but his ribs feel really good. That's always an indicator. You want to be able to feel the ribs, but not like put your fingers between them. 
So weight was good. He stayed consistent, but you could just visibly see a difference. And um, you gotta take care of our big boy Ivan, right, buddy? So he's come a long way already on the senior. Um, we do tape them, but when you run a tape on an animal, it goes right, right around their body here. So you can often miss those cues where they're losing a little bit of that top line okay. and rear end muscle. He says he's ready to go. All right. Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy, buddy. Good job. He always comes out, gets some scratches. He's doing really, really well. Really proud of how far he's come. He was terrified. Couldn't even touch him. If you walk, look back at our YouTube videos, um, we actually used him in some of our training videos because he was so scared. And uh, he's, he's doing really, really well. Teddy is actually the most spooky one. And like we said before, we think that might be due to some poor vision. Basically, they just check to see if they can see, not how well they can see. So, um, but now that he's out, you can kind of see, he always had a little bit of this little sway back going on. That's, that's sometimes a structural thing. And uh, how, they're, how they're bred will dictate that. Or um, if they're ridden too much, sometimes you see that a little bit too. Um, but... Basically, what we're just going to try to do is rebuild some of that area. And the only way you can really put muscle on is to do a little bit of work. So uh, we did pick up a little driving harness, and we're going to do a little bit of training with that. And we're not going to pull anything heavy, but we're just going to see, if, you know, he's young enough. He still should be doing some work. We'll see if we can build some muscle. It's good for him to have muscle. Oh, are you sleepy? Are you silly boy? Give me a yawn. <laughs> handsome guy oh so sleepy so they're all just starting to shed out we were supposed to work on our shedding post today but uh, you can tell they're shedding out by the um, mule glitter that's all over the floor I'm sure that's Albert or the, the ground um, but um, we got into fixing the paddock from the winter and uh, grading, regrading this whole area and um, getting any of that organic matter out of there. When you, when you have any, like this is a good example here, if you have any of this uh, poop that gets broken down from their feet walking over it, that literally will never dry. Um, and it becomes a, a moisture sucker. So you try to scrape that down. There's actually crushed stone under all this um, that we just started getting done to here. And then over here is all clay sand mix, about a 50-50 mix here. Um, so you try to get all the organic off of there and let that clay breathe and it hardens up like concrete. Um, so we have a little more grading work to do. We got some dirt we put up over here when we did our drainage um, and they've just turned into a playpen. So I almost hate to take it away, but we did use some of it today. So anyway, Jenny Ferguson, um, she bought your senior buddy. Teddy's a little messy. He has a special table. That was actually a table we found in the woods here. This is a uh, farmland from long ago. That's why we have um, rock walls all around. And um, that thing was pretty well protected, but definitely is pretty old, but it's wood. So, I mean, you know, it's not forever old, um, but you could tell by the nails and the way it was built. And um, we first got them, he kept getting pneumonia, so we had to do antibiotic shots every day, twice a day. And his neck was really uncomfortable to the point where he couldn't uh, dip his head down to um, get the food off the ground. So we used this table and we found it's just better for him when he does have to eat off the ground. He's so tall, he's a mammoth donkey that he has to actually bend his legs to get his head down there. So those senior grain bags are about $31 currently and they last one week now a little bit less than that and uh, it's a complete feed so technically he and Ivan do not have to eat the hay um, Ivan does because his portion's small um, but Teddy doesn't and he pretty much just stands there and fakes it he does um, bump his head into the hay and look like he's eating hay but really not much eating going on um, and when he does have manure pass you can see the the hay is in there pretty heavy, not broken up. Um, pretty excited because temperatures have come up and right when I started the video, 
the frogs stopped that are in this uh, back pond. And uh, you can see the mess over here, but um, they don't like me coming over. They stop every time. Mama Duck was back here when we started doing hay and then we spooked her off. Um, I guess just to give you an update, you can look at what the trees are doing as far as blooming. So can I lighten that up a little bit? Those are all maples. Now you can hear those frogs. Basically it's a dinner for mama and daddy duck. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are all maples all around us. We're in a maple sugar bush. We've got a couple pines left. And we took all the other invasive species out. But they are bursting, so probably the next time we do a hay video, there's going to be leaves. But you can see everybody's working around the hay bale here. Very happy bunch. Oh, Ivan found some on the ground. <laughs> He's no slouch. He knows where the easy stuff is. And uh, yeah, so this week Jenny bought two weeks worth of senior and this giant four by five first cutting hay bale that's in our pretty beat up hay net here. Everybody's really excited. There's Molly and I think that's Benjamin, maybe Becky underneath there. Molly gets big bites and then the little ones kind of steal it. Yeah. Didn't make me a liar, did they? <laughs> that's silly. Yeah, they love heyday. There's another mama amongst us right now. We have a bird. I don't know if you can see her. We gotta get rid of her. She's sitting on her nest, so I might have to wait. Um, I don't know what kind she is. I haven't really got a good look at her, but she's got a nest up there. And we found some poop on the backs of the donkeys while she was building that nest, which is not great. Plus there's this whole bird flu mess going on. So um, I thought I was going to get it before she was actually sitting on the nest, but it looks like I missed my chance. So um, might have to let her have her babies and then I'm going to block that off for next year. Oh, I thought this was going to be a heyday video. And my typical ADHD or ADD or donkey duck bird mom disorder. Hi, Albert. How you doing, boy? You got a good bite. You look a little annoyed. Oh, you're just focused. Yeah, like I was saying. So my <laughs> my, <laughs> my attention deficit disorder that I have with the donkeys here takes us down some weird roads with these videos. But huge thank you to Jenny. So glad that you found our family across the pond, and you're making a difference in these rescues' lives and these animals' lives. They're all. Um, they're also special to all of us, and it takes a whole community to take care of 12 of them. And we really appreciate what you're doing to help us with our goals here. And um, we did have um, oh, Benjamin, I just turned my flashlight on, I didn't even know I had that option in the middle of the video. Um, we have Benjamin, Becky, and Lulu sponsored for their spring vaccination. So that's a huge, huge help. Thank you very much. That's allowing us to put some extra dollars into some farm improvements. We're going to make an order for some pea gravel. We haven't ever experimented with that. Um, but we're going to try... I'm going to turn this flash off. We're going to try and use uh, pea gravel to make a path, basically, right up and right over and um, up on the high side up here so that year round they'll have a nice um, compacted area to walk on and if it works well we'll do another path from their water on over and that's pretty pricey stuff we need to lay it down like six to eight inches so um, your support with other needs allows us to devote the other finances that we have to those improvements for them, keeping their feet dry and giving them a better place to walk around. So, um, thank you everybody for all your support and uh, especially Jenny this week and next week too for the senior grain. Hi Ivan, you're gonna say thank you to Jenny for your senior grain? 
No, I guess no. He's just taking his own spot. What a bully. What'd you say? Thank you, Jenny. Lulu will. No, you won't? Okay. Hi. <laughs> you silly. Anyway, thanks, Jenny. And I hope everything's going well across the pond over there. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week.